Hello, everyone. This is Shirley from Shirley's World. And I'm here before anybody else. Uh, yeah, I just came on to show you the few things that I sold last week. Uh, not many things. I think there's less than a dozen. But I had some good things and some not, not so good prices. Um, I did, however, figure out, or I'm still learning, how to do a spreadsheet on numbers. I have a Mac, so uh, it comes with a spreadsheet that's similar to Excel and it's called Numbers. It's a little different. Uh, I used to have Excel a long time ago when I had a brick and mortar store. And I knew how to use it back then, but I would just like to use the numbers one if I can. It is a little different. Uh, I would think it would be easier, but it still has all the formulas and the functions and everything. Uh, you know, similar to Excel. But if there's any resellers come on here, I would like to have a count of how many people, how many keep track of everything on a spreadsheet. It just seems like I'm the only one that doesn't have a spreadsheet for their business. Uh, and I have a terribly hard time when it comes to this time of year, tax season. I use a bookkeeping book that really doesn't, uh, this is the one from, from 2020, it's all completed, but it's too hard to get all the information out of here for everything that they need for your taxes. So it would be so much easier to uh, have a spreadsheet. So I'd like to know how many people that are in the reselling business uh, have a bread, a spreadsheet. <laughs> uh, I have like 1,600 items in my, my uh, inventory. So it wasn't like I was going to make a spreadsheet if I had to manually enter 1600 items into a spreadsheet but miracle of all miracles i did go on youtube and kept asking the question is there any way to transfer my ebay inventory onto a spreadsheet onto numbers spreadsheet and lo and behold there is so i bit the bullet and uh, went on my uh, my eBay inventory and did a bulk edit and exported. There is an export button. And when you hit the export button, it says to file. I think it's the last thing in the row. To, to file. And it means spreadsheet. So I hit the button. And it took less than a minute, I would say. My entire inventory went on to the spreadsheet. Now, of course, there's no formulas or anything in there. It's just all the, um, all my whole inventory is listed on there. So I had to figure out how I wanted to uh, categorize things and uh, so I spent all of last evening sort of learning a little bit about numbers and how to, you know, mess around with my whole inventory on there. Because if I mess something up, I can always delete that and do it again because it's so easy. Uh, yeah. I had a spreadsheet that was sent to me with all the formulas in it from Rockstar Flipper that I intended on using, but it went on to 
that's what I wanted it to go on to, but it didn't go on to that one. It went on to its own, you know, brand new one. So it has no formulas or anything. So I have to, hi Sue, I have to uh, learn how to do all the formulas and the functions over again and uh, put them on, mess around with it. But uh, last evening and today, <coughs> I did all my solds uh, for starting with January 1st. I have a whole section of the spreadsheet for what I sold. So um, I entered all of those that I've sold since January 1st. I finished doing that this morning. So that's all on there. So every week or every few days, I should go, well, I think once a week for the little bit I'm selling right now, once a week I could do this. Once a week, go onto the spreadsheet and enter what I sold. Uh, but there's some formulas and things I have to put on there yet. <clears throat> oh, Aspen Dental. Yeah, we have that one here too. But the clear choice is the one that advertises so much on, on TV and the internet, you know. But it's sort of too late now. I'm on this track. But th that's something that you can have done anytime. You don't have to, you know, I didn't have to pick one or the other. I can try this for a while. Uh, the denture thing. If I cannot stand it or get used to it, I can always get the other thing. So, yeah. See this thing sticking up here? This is how my hair wants to go. So today I just left it go. I washed my hair this morning. And after, when I dry it, that's how it goes. Because when my hair is longer, it has these waves in it that aren't there when it's cut really short. Uh, yeah, one of my teeth, like I said, told you, Sue, is becoming very sensitive. I've been so lucky up until now not to have a toothache. And I thought I was getting one the other night, but it sort of went away. But that I can feel that tooth is sensitive now where it wasn't before. So I'm just praying that I can get to the date that I get these out and that whole thing happening without having a horrible toothache because I don't know what I'll do. Bumblebee, hi. Yeah, I'm starting to have a real sensitive tooth. And I'm just praying I don't get a horrible toothache before uh, my date with the oral surgeon. And that's not after till after my uh, second vaccine injection, which is, uh, when do I get it? The fifth, same as you, Sue. Is it the fifth? March 5th, yeah. Yeah, how did uh, Julie do with hers? She got her second one today. Uh, we're all getting Pfizer, I think. So is that what uh, Julie got? Is she doing the Pfizer one? Uh. Yeah, I might need, that's true, I might. Uh, they will start me on antibiotics before the oral surgery, but I can't go on them this early, I don't think, because they tear, they just tear my belly apart, you know. I don't do well on antibiotics at all. I could never be on them that long. If I get three, four days out of them before I have to quit, that's lucky. Yeah, so 
I think I sold 11 things all week. And uh, some different things and some good things, not so good things. I did take some offers on some things to try to get things moving more. But anyway, Bumblebee, with your business, do you keep a spreadsheet? Oh, why did I stop moving there? Did I, uh, do you keep a spreadsheet? Do you know how to do spreadsheets? The likelihood of having a tooth problem is more than getting the virus. Right, because I've had that one vaccine already, so I'm sort of protected a little bit. But, uh, Oh, her, my sister's daughter just texted so far so good with her back, second vaccine. Well, it was the second day, sort of. We got the sore arm the day after, but that's really all. Except yesterday, I don't think it has anything to do with the vaccine. Yesterday, my nose ran like a faucet. All mostly in the in the morning and the after, early afternoon my nose would tickle i would sneeze and my you know my nose would just run like a faucet and i thought am i getting a cold i don't feel like i'm getting a cold and um uh, it felt more like an allergy is what it felt like so the funniest thing it only happened when I was out in the outer part of the house, the family room and the kitchen around there. When I'd come in this room, it stopped. My nose dried up. I didn't sneeze. Nothing. I'd go back out there and my nose would run. So I thought there must be something out there that was irritating my nose. And I don't know what it could be. There's nothing different out there. Uh, I smell oil from my my boiler once in a while, but I that's all the time. I mean, it's not it's nothing new. And I do have a uh, I do have a what a carbon monoxide detector right at the top of the steps. And fuel oil doesn't really cause that problem. It's not known to cause that problem, not like gas. So it was chillier in that part of the house. Bumble, yeah, can't do more than three days of antibiotics either. So I hear you get some good pro. But I have some probiotics. I always take take them when I take antibiotics, but still I don't have a great. Oh, you use Excel and your son helps you with it. Yeah. Yeah. I've been all this time doing this eBay business without using a spreadsheet, which Rockstar Flipper can't even believe that. But yeah. He's big on the spreadsheets. <clears throat> I don't know. I think this year it's it's more, it's harder for me getting things together for taxes just because I'm a year older. Things aren't as clear. And things that weren't so hard last year or the year before, and I never even worried about it two or three years before. And now I get frantic at this time of the year. And then on top of everything, I um, I sold the rest of the property in Florida, and it didn't go through till the first. I think I think it was the 29th of January of 2020. So it has to go on. This this taxes that are going to be due. So I was looking around the house to find the paperwork to send my tax guy when I with everything else 
I could not find the paperwork. I found the paperwork to, you know, to other parts of the sale, but not, I was holding the note on this half of the house for a long time. So he finally bought me out and I needed that paperwork. Couldn't find it. I went, I did take a trip out of my house to um, the bank. I had to go check my safety deposit box. Nope, wasn't in there. So now I'm frantic. I don't know where it is. So before I made myself really crazy, I called the attorney down in Florida that took care of all that stuff. And he actually sort of remembered me. And he says, oh, don't worry about it. I'll just get it out of the the, uh, the files or, you know, the when they put things away forever, those files. And he says, I'll just mail you the whole packet. So he's going to mail me the paperwork and I'll have it. So hopefully that that problem is solved. Uh, now that I I did little bits of things about the taxes for the business, like you can claim parts of your house. I think he already has those measurements because it's the same rooms I've used, you know, the last couple of years. I hopefully he has those still has those measurements. Uh, or else I'll have to measure all over again, which is a pain. And uh, then you can take part of your internet off, part of your wireless, I think, those two things for sure. Now, this year I won't have any mileage because I stopped going places to do with my business when the pandemic hit. I only went out out a few times. I mean, it's not enough to make any difference. It, you know. I can't really use, it's not going to do much to my uh, bottom line. <laughs> so I don't have much to take off except uh, expenses. I have all my expenses because I bought everything through PayPal. So that was pretty easy to find. And through Amazon, which I can go on and find out everything I bought for my business. I think I did go on and write all that stuff down already. So I have all that. So it'd be so much easier if I just had a spreadsheet to keep this all on week by week by week all year. And then there it would be. So I'm going to switch over now and show you <clears throat> show you what I uh, sold this past week. So I'll share my screen with you here. <clears throat> okay, you should be seeing a hand mitt, hand knit, it's not knit. It's actually crocheted. I crochet. I made this hat. I made it back when I was had a whole. I think it was before I was even doing e a lot of eBay because I was spending my evenings uh, crocheting hats. And one Christmas, everybody got a hat for me except my sister, who said she won't. She doesn't wear hats. So, yeah, my kids all got hats. And my grandkids all got these caps. So uh, this was one that was left over. I did a couple for the Browns colors football team. My son got one, and uh, this one was left. It was a little bigger than the rest of them. So this was put on as a large men's. And I actually sold this one once before, and I couldn't find it. I thought it was someplace on the shelf. It didn't have any bin number on it. So I couldn't find it. I finally had to refund him and tell him that I just couldn't find it. I was really sorry. So he said, fine. So 
that was a cancellation on my part, which isn't good to do, but I found it by doing these inventory of the bins. So I found it, it was in a bin and I put it back up and I sold it. So that's the first thing I'm showing you. It sold for $9.59, it had been on sale. I had it on for $11.99. It was on uh, one of my sales. Uh, priced at the regular sale price and that was it's shipped for 475 and uh, that's the first thing I sold oh it went to where to go Brooklyn New York huh went to Brooklyn New York and I paid 306 they paid 475 so I made a little bit more on it sort of fix the sale thing, I guess. <clears throat> then I sold a Vineyard Vines. This was Van Eck for Vineyard Vines. It was like a collaboration. Uh, it was new with tags. It has had its tags on here and everything. And this sold for uh, $22.77. I sent this out best uh, a Best off a uh, offer to watchers, and somebody bought it for twenty two seventy seven. Uh, it was free shipping on all my ties, and it went to Sh Cheshire, Connecticut, right up there in New England, where Vineyard Vines sort of comes from. <clears throat> uh, the next thing. My computer is so slow because I have so many windows open because of this spreadsheet thing. Uh, this is a Columbia Station men's extra large shirt, short sleeve shirt. This was a, looked almost new, um, sort of a small window pane check. And this sold for and best offer of $17. And it went to Post Falls, Idaho. They paid four eighty five shipping, and I paid four fifty three. A little bit, few pennies there. <clears throat> uh, the next thing is Riders Lee Riders jeans. These pair of jeans, I don't know if you remember, these were the twelve long straight leg jeans. Uh, somebody had bought them before, and they sent them back with sort of not not real nice uh, letter with it that said, these are not straight leg jeans. You made me go through all this trouble to send them back and you didn't have them uh, described right. Well, they are straight leg jeans and she didn't get her all her shipping back. In fact, eBay took care of it and only gave her the price of what she paid for them. She got back uh, whatever she paid. I don't remember what it was. And uh, that's what she got back. She didn't get to her shipping back and she never said anything about it. So these are definitely straight leg jeans. <clears throat> so they went to Rathdrum, Idaho, another Idaho sale. Huh. Uh, this was best offer for $13 on these. I did take a, a, a low best offer on these. And uh, that's where they went. They paid shipping of $7.65. And I paid $7.76. So I paid a few pennies more. That's before I changed all my shipping to a little higher prices when the uh, post office upped the shipping. And this next thing, look at here, Bumblebee, <laughs> uh, was in this box of miscellaneous things that I got. These are a lot of two packs of two cartridges each. They were filter replacement filters for a CPAP machine. And uh, they sold for $17.95. They shipped out for $6 on top of that. <clears throat> and they went all the way up to Canada. 
So they had to pay extra shipping, which they ended up paying a total of $39.24 for these two boxes because they had to pay an extra, you know, out of the country because they want GSP. But that was a nice sale. Then I sold these uh, A6 women's uh, sneakers. These were in really good condition. The only problem is the insoles weren't A6. They were, these insoles were New Balance, which I put on the listing. And they looked like new insoles. So these A6 sold, I've sent an offer to watchers out because I've had these a while. And they were a big size, like a size 11, I think. Yeah, women's 11. And uh, I sent an offer to watchers for $18.77. And somebody bought them for that. They paid a calculated shipping of 10 dollars and ten cents and it cost me eight dollars so I made another couple dollars that way so <clears throat> the next thing is this Ann Taylor dressy sleeveless um, is really pretty it, it, it was new with tags too and uh, sort of all crocheted lace on top there and that sold for an offer to watchers for $34.77. It shipped out for $6, and I paid $5.19 shipping, and that went to Sturgeon, Pennsylvania. <clears throat> uh, the next thing is Ven Venezia. Venezia, is that? It was a two-piece... Uh, Two piece, a top and an a blouse like a a tank top, like a little camisole and the blouse to go over it. And this was a plus size of twenty six twenty eight. Uh, it was a cami and a button up shirt, and that sold for an offer to watchers for nineteen seventy seven, and that went to West Deptford, New Jersey. They paid $6 shipping, and I paid $5.27. <clears throat> Let me know, Bumblebee, which ones you sent, because I don't remember <laughs> which ones came in thread up or, or from you. Uh, Michael Stars, a little knit button-up shirt. This is a stretchy, uh, stretchy shirt, long sleeves. Michael Stars, all their stuff's one size, but their one size is small. <laughs> so uh, this was a purple, had a collar, everything. And I sent an offer to Watchers for $18.77, and somebody bought it for that. That was the three uh, sale in one day. They were all offered to Watchers. So I thought that was lucky. Lucky I put those offers out that day. This went to San Carlos. California. So there's my California sale. <clears throat> then I sold these BKE buckle. These are uh, style of Stella jeans. These are women's 26 by 30. Uh, I did sell these at a low price of $20 because they had been hemmed and not a great job of hemming on them. Uh, so these, uh, you could definitely tell they were hemmed, not by the manufacturer. So uh, even though the length was still a good length of 30, uh, I, put a, uh, I took a $20 best offer on those. And they paid $7.65 shipping, and I had to pay $7.76. So a little bit more, I had to pay a few pennies. But... Uh, so, and my last thing, I sold early this morning, so they're still counted as yesterday's date, uh, a Jerry Garcia tie. This was a, I thought this was a pretty tie. This was, uh, the style was called Nude Collection, and it was uh, Collection 53, and sort of an 
abstract uh, pattern there. And uh, there's the uh, tag, the style. All his styles, or most all of the, his ones that he made recently, at least, or in the last five, ten years, they all have names, so they're easy to find and list. So, yeah, I hadn't sold a Jerry Garcia tie for a while, but that sold for $19.54, which was the regular price. Yay for that. Uh, but they ship for free, of course, but the, they're very light, so I paid $3.03 shipping and that went to Chicago, Illinois. Oh, I forgot to tell you where the uh, buckle jeans went to Mesquite, Texas. And there was my Texas sale. So, uh, yeah. So that's the last thing, my Gar Jerry Garcia tie that I sold early this morning. And I have not had a sale the rest of the day today. So let me try to come back here. So that is, <clears throat> now I will enter, uh, this evening, I will enter those into my solds on my spreadsheet. Uh, now, all my, for this year, my few Poshmark sales, I'm going to make a whole other spreadsheet for Poshmark. Because it'll get so mixed up, I won't know what, how to handle that. So I have a pile of... Um, this year's Poshmark sales. I'll just make a new, maybe I'll be able to use Rockstar's uh, spreadsheet that he sent out because it has all the, uh, it has all the formulas already on it. All I have to do is put these things on it. So I'll try to do that. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so that's that. That's what I did. Uh, I think I said everything that I had to say here. And, uh, yeah, I'll be working on learning these, this spreadsheet. Uh, I, have, I have listed everything but one thing that I have to measure upstairs yet from the thread up box. And one other thing that I have to wash, a pair of men's pants. The only reason I have to wash them is because they are so full of lint. They are the type of black, like chino type fabric that collects all the tiny little lint. They are just full of lint. So I think the easiest thing to do, there it's not new with tags, so I I don't think. If there if it's new with tags, I won't be able to do this but I think I'm just going to throw them in the washing machine and then throw them in the dryer with lots of dryer sheets and hopefully the lint will be gone so I think that's what I'm going to do for this so I just have two more things to list and I'll be all done with thread up boxes and I have been watching thread up the only thing that's been available every single day is the mix uh, clothing boxes like I've been getting. I'm sort of wanting to get a denim box and a men's box, but they haven't been available. So I may just have to put in for another box of mixed clothing. I don't know. Oh, and I did find out that one dress, I just put it on this morning, I think. Black Halo. Look that up, Bumblebee. Black Halo. It only had the uh, brand tag in it. It didn't have the fabric and the size were cut out. Those dresses go for two and three hundred dollars. I mean that's how much they cost, you know, on other sites. Or new, maybe that's new. But they go pretty high. They go like I put it on for ninety some dollars. And we'll just see. It doesn't seem like Whenever I put those really expensive things on, they never really go. I wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. And they, I finally just sort of 
bring it down a little bit, bring it down a little bit more. But they never seem, I have quite a few expensive things. I think they're mostly dresses on uh, Poshmark and eBay because I put them on both. If they go on Poshmark, they're also on eBay. So uh, I put it on both. It's, uh, it's on Poshmark too, I think. Didn't I put it on Poshmark? Let me look here. <clears throat> oh, heavens, maybe I didn't. I have to do that yet. No, I didn't. I put the little skirt on this morning. I thought I put, I thought I did. I thought I put the dress on. I'll put that on after I get off here. Yeah. So that's it for this week. I will be back on Thursday. Hopefully, uh, uh, my tooth won't be hurting. <laughs> I will call my dentist and ask her what I should do about this. So, uh, maybe she could do a, a, a Zoom meeting with me. I could just show her because she's not going to do anything to him because it has to be the oral surgeon from now on. Um, anyway, I will close for now. The expense of things needs patience. I know that's what you keep saying, but I think a year of patience is enough, doesn't? don't you? Because that one dress, CEO... That pink fluff, uh, uh, real pretty dress. There's a model picture on with it. It's on Poshmark too. That's been on for a long time. And I have a pair of, uh, I don't know how much I put them on that, uh, that those leather pants made out of lamb skin. I hate to think about that, but uh, yeah, those were expensive pants and they're, they're sitting there too. I've had some really low ball offers on them, but I haven't, I haven't taken. Believe me, I've had some low ball offers on, on more things than I've sold here too. But, uh, most of the time I just come back with an offer of like a dollar under what I have it on for. And then if they keep keep offering low ball offers, I just keep offering the same price that I put on. And then they'll stop. They either have to stop or buy it, one or the other. Maybe we need to look at keywords and relist. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to pull down, uh, I think I have, how many did I say? I have six more, no more than that. I don't know how many bins I have yet to do. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have nine more bins to do. So I'm going to pull one of them down <clears throat> and start doing uh, inventory again. So I can... I'll relist them or sell similar. I'll end them and sell similar. That sometimes works. Sometimes it doesn't work as good as putting brand new listings on. So anyway, that's it for today. And I will uh, see you back here on Thursday. Sue, let me know how Julie is doing. I'm hopefully that will keep up for the next week or so. And uh, I will see you back here on Thursday. So bye. <laughs>